quite rightly, Scots is celebrated today, but used to be viewed as the language of the lower orders, which makes the story of high society Violet Jacob all the more surprising. Grown up here, she was very posh. When she started writing, as you did if you were a woman for that kind of society, she started dating in English. But she didn't find her voice until she started using Scots. Now I understand she was, um, how shall I say, while fanning myself, risky for the time, Ali. She was awfully clever in the way that she was risky. As a lady of standing, she couldn't actively be lusty in public. Um, but what she could do was infuse that spirit through her characters. And what you see a lot in her work is her externalising kind of uh, lust and adventure and passion and all the things she couldn't express as a lady of the aristocracy. She'd put into her characters. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because you say lust in such a lovely way. I just keep hearing the word lust. <laughs> and I appreciate, honestly, you should see some of the things I write down in my diary. Honestly, <laughs> Ali, it's, it's lustful. i tell you something, Ali, I've learnt a lot today. Hi. Mostly that I love the way you say lust. <laughs> but I must leave you now. I've got a wee treat in the garden. In the 1960s and 70s, Violet's work was rediscovered and set to music. And today, I'm getting a private rendition of her poem Baltic Street by folk singer Iona Fife. Your body as the rose, Matai was born in Baltic Street, in Baltic Street, Mandrose. It's brawl, isn't it? I have to gang away in a bit, but I think I'll stay a bit longer. It's beautiful.